joining us now from Montclair, one of the key figures in this case, uh, Troy Stevenson, the executive director of Garden State Equality. Uh, Troy, welcome back to the program. Surprised at all by today's ruling? Um, surprised is not the word. Excited is. Uh, we were a little surprised that it was a unanimous decision, but um, we couldn't be happier. What does this say to you when the chief justice says essentially that there is no uh, good reason for a stay here? Does that mean the court is tipping its hand about the ultimate ruling expected to come down sometime after January? Uh, I, would, I would hate to, to predict what the court was going to do, but I think it was very clear in this case. Um, there's, there's a very little likelihood of success for the state's case. So uh, what happens at this point? I mean, I've heard from some people, they're ready to get married starting Monday. Is, that, is, that, uh, is there a lot of pent-up demand out there? I think we've been waiting to say this for the better part of a decade, but what happens next is people get married starting at midnight on Monday. Um, we're still fighting every day for the override. We still want to override the governor's veto this year. But while we're doing that, we're couples are going to be getting married, and we couldn't be happier about it. So just so I'm absolutely clear, despite this court ruling, and even if they say the, uh, the Supreme Court would rule to uphold the overall ruling, which makes same-sex marriage in this state legal, you would still work to politically override the veto by the governor? The, this case won't have a final verdict. We won't even hear the, uh, the arguments on the, the summary judgment until at the Supreme Court until January 6th and 7th. We have every intention of overriding the governor's veto before then and making sure that we guarantee the freedom to marry to every New Jerseyan as soon as possible. What, uh, on a non-political, non-strategic level, what does this ruling mean to you? Uh, when I heard it, I actually, um, I mean, I obviously was excited and, and, and hugged everybody that was around me, but then I started, I actually started to tear up thinking about um, all the couples around the state that we've been working with for years, some of them in their 70s and 80s, that finally are going to have the dignity of marriage and, and tearing up even more so at the ones we've lost over the years that never got to that point. And I'm hopeful and more than hopeful, I'm sure, that no couple's going to have to worry about that again in the state of New Jersey. Okay, Troy Stevenson, leave it there for now. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.